Do you also dream of setting up medical practice abroad to embrace the outstanding lifestyle for yourself and for your children? Do the perks like high salaries, world-class education for children, great job opportunities and a great work-life balance attract you too? If yes, then you need to prepare for the foreign licensing examination which can be your getaway to becoming a registered doctor abroad. Hello everyone, I am Sunidhi Shahi and on behalf of Academically, I will welcome you all to this engaging video where we will talk about the most famous exams for doctors, AMC and PLAB. If you are not aware, the AMC exam is the test conducted by the Australian Medical Council which is required for a doctor to set up practice in Australia. On the contrary, the PLAB exam or the Professional Linguistic Assessment Board test is an exam that global doctors need to take to become registered practitioners in the UK. Today, we will make a detailed comparison between the AMC and PLAB exams so that by the end of this video, you can decide which of these is a better choice for you. No matter which exam you choose, academically can help you prepare for these exams and several other exams for healthcare professionals from all the backgrounds. Visit the link in the description to know more. In this video, we will not only compare the two exams but also the two countries for which they are conducted. Overall, we will discuss whether you should take the AMC exam and migrate to Australia or take the PLAB exam and migrate to the UK instead. So let's begin. So firstly, let's talk about the most important factor, the cost of the exams. Let's start with PLAB exam. So for the OAT, it will be GBP 320, PLAB part 1 will be GBP 247 and PLAB part 2 will be GBP 320. Total GBP 1473 or INR 1,55,000. Now let's talk about AMC. So for the skill assessment plus EPIC verification, it will be AUD 1000, PTE exam will charge charge you AUD 300 and AMC part 1 will be AUD 2920 so total will be Australian dollars 4220 or INR 233000 so in terms of costs clearly PLAB is the winner it can help you become a registered doctor in a lower cost coming on to the next parameter where you can take the exam AMC-1 is a computer adaptive test administered by Pearson that is conducted across various centres across the globe. While there are several PLAB centres also across the world, the chances of finding an AMC centre near you are higher than finding a PLAB centre. So, in terms of venues, we would like to say that AMC is clearly the winner. Now, let us talk about the difficulty of the exam and the passing rate. The passing rate of AMC is around 50% while the passing rate of PLAB part 1 is somewhere between 65 to 70%. However, PLAB part 2 pass rate is between 45 to 50% and you need to pass both these exams to get a job. So here, we can't decide a winner and thus it would be safe to say that it's a tie tie situation. Now, finances and salaries is also a very important topic so we are going to discuss on that. A resident medical officer in Australia can earn up to Australian dollars 1,20,000 per annum, whereas the same in the UK can around only Australian dollars 70,000 per annum. Consultant doctors and general practitioners also earn around 2-3 times more of what they can earn in the UK. Therefore, in terms of financial earnings and growth, Australia is a much better option for you so you can decide wisely. Next, let's talk about the working conditions in both these countries. So guys, when we talk about the UK condition of doctors, it has literally worsened, which is an accumulative effect of the COVID situation and the Brexit situation. After Brexit, thousands of doctors have left the UK due to the burden of work and the unexpected working condition. Now, however, most of the doctors decided to migrate to Australia due to the amazing importance of work-life balance that is provided to doctors here. The healthcare staff is not as short as in the UK and thus the pressure on the doctors is comparatively less. Also, the population in Australia is lesser than of the UK, which automatically reduces the burden on the doctors. Thus, it would be right to say that Australia is a better country to work in when it comes to work-life balance. 
other points of difference is you need to pass plat 2 to get a job in the uk but in australia you can start working after clearing only the amc1 exam the trainees are well supported in australia but the healthcare system in the uk is much less thorough as compared to the australian healthcare system also the demand for specializations such as emergency medicine intensive care acute medicine pediatrics geriatrics and general practice is really high in australia when compared to the uk or any other country with this we bring our comparison to a conclusion. So what do you think? Which one is a better choice for you? Do you have any other points of difference to highlight? Your comments are always welcome. Now, I would like to highlight again the fact that Academically has a course of every one of you, whether you want to migrate to Australia, the UK or even the USA. Get in touch with our experts by filling in the form in the description and we will help you in every possible way. Till then, bye, take care, thank you for watching.